Hello everyone, welcome back to Homestead Tools and Gadgets. Well, making a uh, fire starter is kind of hard. Try to use this. It took forever to uh, melt the wax. I got a I tried using a torch, holding the pot. That's dangerous. What I wanted was a single burner hot plate. Let's take a look at this thing. Haven't even opened it up yet. <coughs> I just wanted something that I can make my fire starter quick, easy, and not waste any time or any energy. So, let's take a look at this thing. Now well, it seems fairly simple, which is what, uh, on the home set, we don't need things complicated. There's enough complication in this world. Let's get a closer look. Okay. Like I say, it uh, takes a regular coil. Let's see what the specs are on this thing, because you look in the box or look online, don't see nothing. Let's see, how many watts does it say? Okay, short power supply is provided to reduce becoming entangled and, you know, knocking stuff over. Logs, longer extension cords are available and may be used, and that, and they're exercising their use. Now, one thing you have to watch, when you put an extension cord in something like this, make sure it's heavy enough and bigger than this wire, so that way the thing don't overheat. Okay, so let's see. What else does it say about this thing? All right. Talks about clean. Wipe with damp cloth or sponge, preferably unplugged. Sticky, scrape off and wipe with a damp cloth. If you got lime residue, remove with vinegar and a light detergent. So, I don't see it saying how many watts it is. I guess they don't want you to know. It seems to be top secret. So, the only thing you do is it's got an off button here. So you got uh, like the turtle and the rabbit, hot and the cold. And then you got max. I guess this is kind of like a low. I don't know. Don't have a plug that's warm enough here. I'll take you over to my other workbench and show this thing in action. Okay. Let's make sure this thing's off. Eh, of course it's got something else on there. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be fun to try to plug in. <sighs> All right. Got a little red light, it says the power's on. Okay, we're gonna put this thing on max. I'll tell you one thing, that sucker's getting hot already. Yeah. So let's see how hot will this puppy get. Will it be hot enough to melt wax? I hope so. It's always good. Ooh, yeah. If anything, we can use this thing to heat up the barn. We're going to get some smoke. It's best to get this stuff all burned off before you use it. It's just like when you get uh, a grill. Before you slap some steaks on, burn off the residue that they ship it with. And that's what we're going to do with this. I want to pre 
prepare for use. Sucker's putting off some serious heat. I want to see if this thing's going to glow red. Now, that sound that you're hearing in the background is my little uh, heater. Or not heater, I'm sorry. A bug killer. Not bug zapper, bug killer. I'm doing a good job. Man. Putting off some serious, serious heat, guys. Boy, if I had a way to put this thing in a tent to warm it up, this would be the heater for it. But, you know, you got to have one tent. You can hear it. Let's see. Now, according, oh, it's, yeah, she's starting to glow red. Check it out. Let me uh, turn the lights out so you can see how much it's starting to glow. <clears throat> As you see, she's a glowing red. Awesome. So this is going to be my new fire starting tool. And that's it. I'll let this thing cool off. We'll put it away. So the question is. Where did I get this little tool? Well, I got this from Walmart. Mainstays. $14.99. Not on sale. Regular price. They actually have a two bar, but I just... It's hard enough doing one thing at a time. Who wants to sit there and play making two things at a time? I mean... This thing would have worked great if it would have gotten hot enough. I tried even to uh, wrap the can, or in this case, the uh, try to wrap this thing in foil, but of course when I tried to heat it the other way, it cracked the glass. So I needed a safer way to melt the wax. And this is it. If there's other things you need to do, I don't know if you're Working on body work or something, you have to, I don't know, melt lead. I think that might be able to do it if you use the right container to melt it in. But anyways, that's it for this video. And I'll see you here next time on Homestead Tools and Gadgets. You have an awesome day.